up on Cashmere with your daily music fix from undercover.com.au. Well, you heard it here, folks. Undercover is an out name of the new ACDC album, First. The album is most likely to be Black Ice. That's the title the band is currently working with for the next release. We can expect the album to be released worldwide in October. CZ Topper in the studio with Rick Rubin, and Rubin says he wants to return the band to their hit-making sound of the 80s. ZZ Top sold more than 10 million copies of their Eliminator album in the 1980s. That was the album that featured Legs and Sharp Dressed Man. Their last album, Mescalaro, only did 100,000 units. Hans Zimmer and James Newton Howard will perform their soundtrack for the new Batman movie The Dark Knight at the world premiere in New York next week. Zimmer and Newton Howard have never performed together live before. The Dark Knight is the final movie for Aussie actor Heath Ledger, who died in January. And in somewhat bizarre news, thieves have stolen the headstone of Joy Division singer Ian Curtis. Curtis committed suicide in 1980. He was buried at the Manchester Cemetery in England. The headstone had the inscription, Ian Curtis, 18580, and love will tear us apart. Our travellers at Melbourne Airport yesterday were treated to an impromptu performance from the legendary Rolf Harris. Harris was at the Qantas Club in Melbourne Airport and was stranded with yet another Qantas cancellation. He cheered the stranded travellers up by singing for the room. Ralph just happened to have his ukulele with him. And finally, Aussie soul singer Guy Sebastian is planning on doing a jazz tour later in the year. Sebastian will be teaming up with the Army Band for some charity shows. Guy was back in Nashville last week riding with Steve Cropper. And next week he'll be back in Sydney playing for the Pope. And I'm Paul Cashmere. You'll find more on these stories and others today at undercover.com.au. Mm-hmm.